Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's complement the last video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna do something that's a little bit more complex. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use the directory info, which is similar to the file info. Uh, let's do that. Directory info. Let's call di equals new directory info. So I'm gonna pass the C drive. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna pass the um, I'm gonna pass the C drive. Let's pass the C drive. I'm gonna see if that's gonna work. Probably not because there are too many files. So we're gonna load through every directory. So you can use dy.get directories. Okay. And I'm gonna use for each uh, for each var file in dir.get files. Okay. And let's pass console dot right line um, file dot full name. Okay. You guys need to remember that uh, this file here. I don't know the type yet, but I think it's a file inf type. Uh, we could pass a filter here though. Okay. If you come back here, you guys can see that we can pass. A search pattern. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. Um, I only want to see txt files. So let's execute this and see what what is the output. Um, I got a, an error. Let's let's try again. Yeah, I don't have access. I expected. <laughs> I don't have access. Let's delete this. Uh, stop. Okay. I need, I need to go back to see if I can run just this. Yeah, I saw some files, okay. Uh, and I got an exception. That's because I don't have access to that, to those files. But I do have though, let me see here guys. So I'm gonna pass a directory here. Um, let me see. Um, I do have, oh, let me see guys. Okay. I'm going to pass that folder though. I have a folder. Let me create a simple folder you guys, just to, to get this straight. Okay. I'm going to call programs. And I'm gonna move some folders over here. So, yeah. just a little bit. So I create a new folder here, which I'm gonna show you guys just in a minute. So I'm gonna pass that folder over here so we can use it, okay? So I have this folder and inside of this folder, I have files. Actually, I have all the folders which has files inside of them. So let's execute. And we should see that, yeah, uh, you guys can see it does work quite as expected. Okay. So we got all these files and it worked quite well. So you can use this to do some things like I don't want to see the full name. I just want to see the name and I can do this. Okay. So it's very convenient. I can, let's say I want to see the, the, the size I could do. Um, uh, let me see if I remember uh, file dot length divided by 128 and I need to Let's see if that's going to work. I don't rem I don't remember. Um, yeah, it didn't work because we need to um, do something here. I'm going to pass uh, zero uh, file and size. Uh, and then KB comma 
now it's all set up let's execute now you guys can see that's working it's working properly yeah yeah so you guys can see that's the director info um which is pretty handy uh when working with multi multiple directories in c-sharp so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of out of script but that was the video hope you guys enjoy see you guys next time